Talco was a stock that I said earlier today as well. It could possibly be one of the stocks of the day. And the reason is when the management spoke to us last week, the stock was added on 205, 210 rupees odd. But what they said was very positive. They said that alumina prices, they're expecting it to hold at around $600 per ton because of the deficit that's uh, uh, there globally. And also the, uh, there's unavailability of bauxite as well. So because of both those two factors, they are saying that you know the pricing can hold at around $600. So to give you a reference point, when you look at aluminium prices, alumina as a percentage of aluminium is normally around 15 to around 18 percent. Now at current reckoning of the $600, it's at around 24 to 25 percent. So that's a sharp increase. And the deficit that uh, Nalco management told us is close to around 1 million tons. A Kotak note earlier had mentioned they're expecting half a million tons. MK, they have come out with a note, buy rating, target price of 275 rupees uh, per share. It's their top pick in the metal and mining space. And they believe that the market is underappreciating the delivery as well as uh, the earnings potential from year on. And the three big points that I want to highlight is they're saying that the alumina refinery, that expansion can bolster its uh, fundamentals going ahead. So that's point number one. The second factor is currently Nalco does a little south of around 3,000 crores of EBITDA. They're saying by FI27, because of the expansion, because of pricing, the EBITDA number can, dub uh, can double from there to around 6,000 crores. Mm -hmm. And the third factor is they're saying the valuations are pretty much uh, good for them at around seven and a half times or thereabouts. For metals, normally look at momentum rather than fundamentals. So I guess the stock has got the momentum. We'll have to keep an eye out on alumina pricing because this is the only direct play and Nalco has exposure out there. Okay, and Nalco was doing well, absolutely. Uh, was sounding very, very optimistic on the call that we had with them last week.